Um, hello, my name's Paul Bonham, and I'm with the living legend that is Delhi for Delhi. He's worked for uh, the enemy for how many years? 25 years. 25 years. Just writing. Okay. So, just writing. He's a critic, he's a cultured man, and he's going to give us his one down of the top five gigs he's ever been to. Okay. So, Delhi, at number five. Uh, at number five would be King Sonia Day at the Hackney Empire. Okay, when was that? Oh, wow. The years are, you know, you have the, the to. The years are confused. You, you have to get me. Get me roughly? Me, roughly. Roughly late 80s. Late 80s. So we're yeah. going about 87. No, no. 89, something okay, like that. Cool. Number um, four. But, you know, King Sonia Day, he's from Nigeria. Yeah. That's where I'm from originally. And I understand everything he sings. And. It was just absolutely amazing because I'd been over in the West for a long time and to see something that reminded you of home was just absolutely great. Okay? Okay. okay. And number also, four. Number four. I send a Neubauten. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. Uh, 1985 uh, at Heaven, I think Heaven. it was. Really? Wow. Yeah. Um, well, it was around that area. but Around the area? Yeah, it was around the area. But Neubauten, absolutely brilliant. They're coming to play again soon. Um, Neubauten are incredible. The, the best German band ever. You know, when ben people. And work. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, because they made their music from scratch. Better than Chicks on Speed. They made their music from scratch with found instruments and with things like that. You know, they you know, they used to lift heavy machinery, drill through stages, do all sorts of things like that. And they were, you know, it was very challenging going to see them. You know, Kraftwerk, yeah, they were innovators, but Neubauten were even more innovative than Kraftwerk. That's Tip number four from Delhi for Delhi. We're going down to number three. Gig of um, the life. Falakuti. Hey. Again. Fala really Kui. good. Really good. Hey. Brixton Academy. Wow. Uh, uh, I guess it would be 95, 96. One of the last times he played there. Um, Falakuti, you know, revolutionary, Afrobeat guy. Totally, again, it's about music that's totally innovative. Uh, Felakuti, he's dead now, but I the mean, shrine is he in was our oh, he was so amazing. Did you ever go to the shrine? Oh no, not the shrine in Lagos. No, because I'm from a good family, man. You are not allowed <laughs> to go. <laughs> okay, number two. Number two, uh, the Swans. The Swans. swans. Swans, who have now reformed and are playing in Coco in a couple of months' time, in October. Um, they played at Yulu. This was 1986. Oh, amazing. It was so slow and deadly. It was like hardcore, but turned upside down. It was completely, you know, like what Fucked Up are doing tonight. It has nothing on the swans, man. The swans were like, they were scary. They were totally scary and in their element. And, you know, I really found it hard to put it into words because I had to review it and it was difficult to, and I got into trouble with a priest from the church. <laughs> Excuse over... me, darling. Sorry. Right. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I, okay, I, back, I got into in trouble with a priest from the church. Uh, that's mine. Um, right, so you got in trouble with a priest? Yeah, over, over what they did. All right. Um, o over, over what I wrote, because I said something about Bibles of charred flesh. I was trying to put it into words. And you could I got it, uh, you know, you know. Man. And a priest wrote, called up the paper and got angry. I'm going to wind you down and yeah. get number one. Number one. 
will be um, again. This is You're actually going, going back. Again, uh, no, <laughs> I'm going to say New Order. New Order. Yeah. Okay. That, that's my favorite group. Yeah. And I would say uh, Trenton, New Jersey, 1983. Wow. You know. What did you make of today's uh, Peter Hook? Uh, it was good, but there are a lot of people who didn't like the idea of him doing it. Was it blasphemy? Well, yeah, in a way, but I don't mind that. Nothing's sacred. The whole thing is not sacred. You know, Ian Curtis has been dead for a long time. It's not sacred. It was good that it was a proper tribute. Yeah. But New Order, when they played, uh, um, Trenton, New Jersey, they were just becoming New Order proper. Yeah, it was new. You know, it was when they actually it was first the, the new, started new talking to the audience and stop. They were wearing shorts. Barney was wearing shorts. And, you know, the I'm manager wearing shorts. came on stage. No, 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 no. But they used to be very austere and very rigid and they'd wear black shirts and things like that. You know, the Joy Division uniform. But it was when they started opening up and bringing a little light in. And that's what it was. And that was, that's my that's favorite. Gig. Gig of the world ever. Yeah, yeah, that's my favorite. According to Delhi for Delhi, yeah. New Order in New Jersey. Yeah, 1983. 1983. That's Paul Bonham reporting from Delhi for Delhi's head. Okay. In 2010, at the One Two Three Four Festival.